Welcome to the SAP Business One HANA series on Intelligent Forecasting. SAP Business One uses statistical methods to analyse your past data and provide estimations for demand based on historical trends using the Intelligence Forecast tool. In SAP Business One, we begin by navigating to MRP Forecasts. I have created a new forecast by entering a forecast code and a forecast name. The time frame to be predicted is from January to December of this year, and I've also selected a monthly prediction. I've also selected the items that I would like to be forecast. So from the forecast window, I can then directly navigate to Intelligent Forecast. I would like to base the forecast on the three laptop case products. To do this, I need to select the products in our forecast. My demand is also going to be predicted based on my AR invoices. And then from here, I simply select forecast. Based on input, SAP Business One predicts the future demand for the laptop cases per warehouse. So you can see the forecast in this table here. For example, the demand for laptop case item C00014 in warehouse one was expected to be two in April. In the graph below, the forecast for the selected product is a line chart. The blue line shows the historical sales numbers based on the invoices, and the orange line is the predicted demand. Here you can see, for example, what's considered an outlier in the past. There were two significant ones back in the second half of last year, which is unlikely to occur again. So given these may be one-off transactions, which can affect the prediction results significantly, we are able to easily adjust these outliers by dragging the values down a little, And what you can see immediately is the change in the prediction result. The peaks and the orange lines have also disappeared and adjusted accordingly. You can also adjust the number of time buckets you want to use to perform the forecast. So currently in SAP Business One, it uses up to the previous 100 months for prediction. You can now change this value to, for example, 24. And by choosing forecast again, the system will only factor the invoice figures of the past 24 months in its prediction. To estimate how reliable this prediction is, you can use Hindcast. For example, SAP Business One predicts demand from a starting date in the past, such as the second half of last year. Since the prediction, which is represented by the yellow line, does not deviate much from the real demand, represented by the blue values, we can assume that the statistical model used has represented a reliable prediction. Finally, we are going to save our intelligent forecast, and this will carry over prediction values into the forecast window. We can now choose Add, and this forecast will be available for consumption in the MRP process. This is a simple example of how intelligent forecasting provides predictability and consequently more well-informed business decisions.